In this video we're going to go through a simple migration from a, an HTML website into a WordPress website and uh, I'm using a, a couple of test sites here and these web pages are taken from one of my sites here and are copied over to my test site and I've actually got uh, a home page and a website hosting page and I think I might have another third page domain page there as well and you can see here's the home page here and this is a, an HTML website I can view the source sorry view the source you have to right click on it and you can see the HTML site there and we're going to use this later on we're going to use the source because we're going to need to copy out the um, title and we're going to need to co copy out the description which is here okay so that's the existing sites now this is what it actually looks like on the server itself um, you can see there's the index.htm file which is that one there there's one called domain names and there should be one called web hosting um, there's a style sheet there and there's a couple of PHP files there and these PHP files because it's got a, a dynamic navigation on that site and here is an index.php file which isn't being used. It's a very simple file. There's nothing in there. It's just I've just used this to test. Basically, I, I put that there to test that it's uh, the index.php file isn't the preferred home page file. And you can see because I'm accessing it without the page name here that the preferred home page is the index.htm which is fine for the migration because it means I can now go and install WordPress and not affect the original website so now I'm going to copy over the WordPress uh, files using FTP I'm going to copy them into that directory and I'm going to show you what the directory looks like with the files copied in there and then we're going to connect to the WordPress website we're going to log into the WordPress website all the time while this site's going to remain active, it's going to remain live, and then we're going to configure the WordPress website, um, configure some redirects on it, and then eventually we're going to make it live simply by renaming the index.htm file. So that's the, the process. The index.htm file, once I renamed it, then the index.p PHP file will be the preferred file now but this one won't be this one it will actually be the index.php file from WordPress that's that's going to be overwritten that one there the test uh, index.php file okay so let me copy over the uh, WordPress files okay now I've um, installed WordPress I've installed the WordPress files should I say so here the is the directory now and there's the website hosting um, the old index.htm and there should be another one domain names.htm they're all there and now I've got the WordPress files in there as well you can see the main directory is content admin and includes and the rest of the files there now I need to edit the WordPress config.php file for my installation and once I've done that which I've actually already done now it's time to go and install WordPress so to do that I go to WordPress admin and I get the familiar install page and I'm just going to fill out the details here okay here I am and I'm just going to turn that off I don't want the search engines on this site yet and I'm going to install WordPress remember the password okay we're done and it's time to log in okay we're in the site and I'm just going to do a few settings uh, while I'm here I'm going to change the permalinks and 
I'm going to change that. I can't do that until I've created it to a static home page, but I'm going to create it first. So now we're in a position now to copy over the files. But I'd just like to show you that our site is still active. So our original site is still active in the background, and we can access the other files on that site. So it's still working, and we've got WordPress up and installed in the background and we can um, start to copy over the files. So n next thing I'm going to do now is to copy these files over in into WordPress.